And there it is. CBT. I, I preach the, uh, the, the the magic for me of CBT, not the behavioral therapy. Was I was able to change change what I believed. I changed how I thought. Yeah, I changed how I thought about stimuli that were coming to me, that were causing me to react in myriad and random adverse ways. <laughs> still, I've still, I've, I've gone back to that. It's comfort, comfort emotions. My comfort blanket. Anyway. Change how I think about the stimuli, then I can change what I believe. Well, that's not my fucking dad. That noise is not gonna. Dad's probably dead. It's that simple. And then I don't have to get anxious. Right? That was what I said. I can, I can make the anxiety go away, just like that. Um, but here's a real world example. If uh, you wanted to get calibrated, I, I realize I, I, I'm, I'm going to talk to uh, Dr. Galloway, Chris. He runs the DAT clinic, uh, Fort Miley, uh, the drug and alcohol treatment clinic. And I'm, just, I'm, a, I'm a star case. Four months. Yeah, you heard me say this. You know. <laughs> Edelman swords when you read the letter. Something's wrong, Sarah. Something happened. Steve, you want to go back to my office? Yeah. <laughs> and he says, a big smile. He says, Steve, do you know how rare this is? I said, no. I have no idea. He said, I've never heard of this. <laughs> Four months. 100%. Anyway. Still on the blue iPhone. The first tab in the Safari is still the same one when I left up there because the groups I was in were abstinence-based and I was myriadly and randomly... Oops! Chris, Dr. Galloway, asked me... <laughs> Do you want to want to uh, want to have a talk? You want to got time to come by my office? The second or the third time, he's just taking us off the books. You know, accidentally, casually, he's in the right place at the right time. You know my schedule, right? The second or the third time, because he knows all I want is somebody to listen to my stories, laugh at my jokes. So that's what he gave me. So when he asked me, Steve, are you using? Yes, I am. Just that much pause. Uh, anyway, the Atlas of Emotions, the Ekman thing. Ekman, Ekber, Ekman. The Ekman Atlas of Emotions, I believe is what it's called. You might, you probably, you may have heard of this. It's famous. I've heard of it several times in the last couple of years. There it is. <laughs> he said, this might help you. This, you might find this useful. This is way, the way they do, right? Because he knew that my thing in, my thing in therapy that I would get started with. Identifying my own emotions. That's my, my, <clears throat> how can I say this? Larry, all Larry, my therapist, all he's told me about was dialectics. He said, you, you might want to check into this. <laughs> but he really got this. He stopped. Steve, do you hear yourself? No, but you said your tone. Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, I'm the most fucked up. All of you guys are fucked up, Larry. You're just in your hair, yourself. You're gay. Yeah. 
Prime example, number one, most fucked up. <clears throat> what? My tone? <laughs> anyway. Check it. Couple. Blankets, let's see, my little, my little, and all my worldly belongings in there, right? Carrying the dog toys around, because fucking dog that but he'll be back uh, except I'm collecting these and I'm gonna go wash them right now I'm taking I'm, I'm, I'm taking them to the right there this is <laughs> there's some sort of ball of coin operated laundries up here <laughs> <sighs> It's, there's, it's weird. It's fucking weird up here. There's so many fucking coin-operated lawn. It's all laundromats. Fucking, <laughs> this one barely passes coin. I, last, I couldn't wash my clothes last time because there were no coins. It's a coin-operated laundry with no fucking change machine. And there's nobody ever, it's just people. <laughs> when I, a couple times that I've used it, when I, if I see, it's never the same people picking up the shit off the floor. I'm saying there's a, there's something. <laughs> Auto repair shops and coin operators laundries. Uh, anyway, how different I felt. No guilt, no shame. The Asian is predominantly Asian neighborhood. Um, none with the the ladies, you know, walking by, and I I recognized that at the time. Hey, buddy. Hey. Um. But <clears throat> then I was thinking, oh, it's the same exact thing. This is like CBT, except this is an example of how comforting change what I think about stimuli coming, they get the activating event they get the ABC button. the activating event and then you have a belief that results in consequences ABC model the activating event and then our irrational beliefs cause us well, create consequences. There you go. I'm just long for the ride. <laughs> I don't know how it happens. That's the old ABC model for me. Here we go. <laughs> Easy as ABC. One, two, three. ABC. Where you and me. Uh, that was when I fell in love with Michael. I was singing that. Um, my first boy crush. Of course, that was before he be turned into a white woman. Uh, this is it. I look completely homeless. <laughs> well dressed. Clean. It's five days in a row. Okay, he's just short this week. I just I thought it was interesting that now. Next time I'm sleeping on the street or the woods or whatever, and in the woods in the city of San Francisco, sleeping in the woods in this town, everybody, you know, <laughs> at least out of the woods, not on the Uh, next time I'm in that situation and I'm feeling that, I get on you when you talk about this, the guilt and the shame, feeling it from the stigma when I'm feeling it. I need to come right back here to Lowell and uh, morse, morse the code. Um, and remember, folding up the the bedding on the street while all the people are walking by. The obviously homeless guy with this Larry that looking like a llama. The only other boyfriend I ever had 
with Hernan. Hernan was uh, Colombiano. <laughs> the, first, <laughs> the first day he introduced me to his friend that lived in his building. He fucking, I knew I was going to fit right in. He fucking put the knife in, in Hernan's back, right? And my new boyfriend, Eduardo, whatever his name was. He was from the name of the town. And I always get a, la a chuckle out of Colombians when I say the name of his town. And it's because it's called Facatativa. I said, where are you from? What? Facatativa. I said, so you've heard me no doubt start just repeating what I hear trying to, until I, usually it's names. This, this is a good town for that. Fucking so many weird names. I mean, because people come from all over the world here. Uh, Facatativa. We were sitting, we were at the pool at Hernan's building. And Eduardo said <laughs> to Hernan, and he did. He he did. He had that. But he said it for me, because he, you know, he said it for Hernan because Hernan, you. Look like a llama. <laughs> oh, I was so proud. I did not laugh. I smiled. Because they're not smiling. And I, I was like, wow, it's a smiling llama. He does look like a llama. So. I just thought that was interesting. Bye. You see? Great video.